Some specifics on Neko rigging, and I want to talk about the O-rings in particular, but two different baits that have two different diameters. So not every O-ring fits a plastic, and a workaround for that is going to an automotive shop and getting yourself some automotive O-rings. And if you look in here, basically I can put this on a great big bait. I could put it on zoom brush hogs. I can put it on other thick creature baits. I just have a wide range of sizes all the way down to tiny little O-rings. And that's the case with these baits. So this little slim one here, I need a smaller O-ring and I have some different sizes already on this little O-ring tool. So I'll slide this guy up. But as you can see here, it fits tight on this bait. A standard size O-ring wouldn't. So it's gonna slide off and then I'm losing baits. Same thing with the creature bait on the reverse side is I need a little bit bigger O-ring. And one thing to experiment with with these creature baits is just put it in the water and make sure your pull point. So make sure your O-ring position is right where that bait basically sits at a 45 when it pulls backwards. Because if you put it too high, it's gonna drag bottom. If you put it too low, it's gonna drag bottom. If you're going for that 45 degree angle, cross up in the air, you know, just experiment. A lot of these baits have ridges already built into the plastic mold. This one actually required me to grab a little bit bigger O-ring. So that's what I did. Kind of just eyeballed it up based on the size of the plastic. So I have my O-rings loaded and this is actually a two O-ring scenario on this bait. I'll start out with the main one that the hook's gonna go through. This is a thicker bait. A standard O-ring is a little bit too small. So I upsized to a little bit bigger automotive O-ring slide the bait in there and then put the O-ring on. And again, I can, I can rig pretty big creature baits and that's just something to experiment with. That's a lot of fun on this system is playing around. So I, you know, I wouldn't be scared to rifle through your box and, you know, flip and pitch a regular, you know, flipping craw, just upsize to a bigger O-ring. So that's about perfect on there. Other cool thing about this Psycho Dad, it's got a little pocket for rattles in there. But now I want to put, put on my nail weight and there's nail weights, you know, here's a cool one by VMC. It's got a, it's got a little silicone skirting, VMC neckle skirt, a little bit of action on the tail of the bait. But you can see that one's designed to slide fully into the body. Whereas their half moon wacky weights put a hard surface on the outside. You got a heavy keel basically on the bottom. And I like that on hard bottom areas just to transmit that bottom. But the problem at times can be throwing this, especially with the soft plastic, like, you know, the salty soft Yamamoto Senko plastics. So you can actually use an O-ring to also secure this. And I'll show you that. So this is a 3 16th. So I want a little heavier weight to get this creature bait down faster. It has more resistance than a worm does. And what I'll do is I'll push that weight in there nice and perfectly straight. I don't want it poking out any side of the worm. So perfectly center mass. And a big bass is probably gonna throw this on the first fish catch. So another great use for an O-ring. I want a tight one now to secure around the ribs of that half moon. It's got little ridges in there. That's what keeps it from pulling out. And that Psycho Dad again has little ridges. So I'm gonna take that tight little O-ring there. And now it's holding the shaft of that half moon weight in there. So that really is gonna have a hard time pulling. I've already caught three fish on that one bait without losing a weight. And that's a complaint a lot of people have is I'm just, I'm losing my lead, I'm losing my nail weights. This is gonna help you keep your nail weights on if you have tight O-rings. But the O-rings, you know, thick enough too where it's not gonna tear that plastic. It's not gonna cut into the plastic. So that's a good tip and a lot of pros do that. Go to your automotive shop, just carry a variety of size O-rings and they definitely have some utility in your terminal box.